Tis the season for goal setting. Yes, it's that time of year. Christmas has finished. The tree's going to come down. All the presents have got to go back to the store if you've got the receipts. Or all the toys are broken. And you're looking forward to New Year's Eve. And you're dreading New Year's Day because you have to set goals for 2015. Your email inbox, your Facebook pages and your Twitter streams are full of recommendations from very clever people who are telling you to set goals to make 2015 your most successful year ever and telling you how you can do it. Pinterest is giving you infographics on how to set them. And they're right. This is this is a good time. Uh, personally, I, I don't see why we have to do it in January and I set goals throughout the year. But January is accountable. It, it's It's easy to remember when to do it. It's easy to look back as to when it started and to have some accountability there. But there are a few tricks in setting goals if you want to actually get them done because of course a lot of people want to lose all the weight, they want to make a fortune and it all starts in January. But these are just easy. So the first one is to write them down. Every single successful person you'll ever, ever read about will have goals and they will all, it's one of the common characteristics, they will all have them written down. It's no good lying in bed thinking about what you're going to do when you win the lottery, whether you're going to buy a Ferrari or a Porsche, where you're going to spend your next holiday, what size yacht you're going to buy, etc. That just isn't going to work. So write them down. By writing, you, you commit you have to think and there is a relationship between the brain and the hand and the movement that makes it sink in better and, and it, it again commit if you're not going to commit to your goals you might as well not bother and another one is not having too many some people will think oh 12 months a year long time and set loads of them thinking there's lots of time but too many just makes it overwhelming one of the most successful CEOs in history is a guy called Jack Welch of GE, General Electric. Built the company into one of the largest in the world during his 20-year tenure. He only ever set goals over a 90-day and a long-term period. And long-term meant sort of 10 or 15 years. In that 20 years, he only ever had something like, I think it's three or four long-term serious goals. And he probably achieved them all. Very, very dedicated guy. Now, there's a great acronym called SMART, which gives you specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time specific goals. Now think about that. Specific is one of the most important. Everybody after Christmas, I mean, even me, I've just had uh, just had some food now and I feel full up. So I'm thinking I want to lose weight. But losing weight is not a goal. Losing 10 pounds, losing 10 pounds in three months, that's a specific goal. That can then be measured and that can be achieved and it's relevant and it's time specific. So be careful when you are setting goals, but more importantly, do set some. 2015 can be the year everything really starts to turn around, everything really gets on track, and it can be your most successful year. Why not give it a go, eh? And remember, when you write them down, write them somewhere where you can look at them again. Try Evernote. That's where I write mine. Now, it's Wednesday. We like to recommend somebody to follow on Wednesday and it's our friendly follow, is for a company and a guy. The company is called Social Media Examiner. It's run by Mike Stelzner, Michael Stelzner. That's uh, S-T-E-L-Z-Z-N-E-R. Um, and I think uh, his Twitter handle, although all the details will be in the podcast show notes at marketingforowners.com slash podcast, you can see all, all there and all the show notes. But I think it's Mike underscore Stelzner that is his Twitter handle. Social Media Examiner covers all aspects of social media. And what Mike does is he employs the best writers and the top minds and the top thought leaders. People from Neil Patel to, uh, to Mary Smith to Kim Gass to 
um, John Jantz, anyone you can think of to produce fabulous articles and great graphics. But the way they handle their social media is excellent. He also shows how to compare having having a f company page for the which is SM Examiner uh, amongst a along with his personal page, where he'll show his real side as long as promoting his work. Now it's a fantastic example of the freemium model because they give fabulous information that most people would be pay prepared to pay for. He then makes all his money from selling conferences and he does a couple a year and makes rather a lot. So go look at what he's up to, learn and emulate. He does very, very, very well. Also something else to look out is New Rainmaker. Now they sponsor this podcast and they sponsor all of the podcasts. Rainmaker is a platform that hosts, creates your website, hosts it, does everything you need to know. It is excellent and marketingforowners.com runs on Rainmaker. That's it for today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We're going to more details on how I set my goals.